So guys, this video is all about how we can get started with Gemini API and use it in our Node.js applications. If you don't know what Gemini is, Gemini is another chatbot by Google that is very similar to ChatGPT from OpenAI. So let's go to the new tab and search for Gemini API. So here in the links, you can find a Gemini API documentation by clicking on this link. So let's explore the documentation first. So this is the documentation of Gemini API where they explain what Gemini API can do. So if I go to the API overview and explore the documentation. So here they have a documentation of how to use Gemini API in different platforms and languages. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the Node.js application. So I'll be setting up a simple Node.js project and we will try to integrate Gemini API into our Node.js application. Before we do that, we have to get access to Gemini API. That means we need to go and generate API key for this. So here on the sidebar, there is a tab, get an API key. So I'm just going to click on that and click on get an API key. So this will take you to the AI studio. So here I just have to agree to the Google terms and services to use the Gemini API. So I'm going to agree to that and click on continue. So once I click on continue on this sidebar, I can see that there is something like create a new prompt, chat prompt. So here I can try how this Gemini API works. So I'm just going to ask something to Gemini API and let's see how it responds. So I'm just asking Gemini API to tell me some interesting facts about New Zealand. So I'm just going to click on run this command. So you can see that Gemini API is responding me with a lot of interesting facts about New Zealand. So it basically works similar to the ChatGPT and ChatGPT API. So this is just an API playground to see how this Gemini API works. So to generate an API key, I'm just going to click on get API key here. Click on OK. So here I'm just going to create my API key and agree to the terms and services again. So once I come here, it's going to ask me under which project I want to create the Gemini API key. So I have few projects here, but I am assuming that you don't have any project on Google Cloud. So before we get an API key, we need to create a new project. And under that project, we should be able to create a Gemini API key. So I'm going to quickly create a new project. So in a new tab, I can just go search for Firebase. So I can click on firebase.google.com. So here, because I'm already logged in into my browser with my email ID, so I'll directly go to the console. So here in the console, you can see that I already have one project here, but I'm going to add a new project and I'm just going to name it as Gemini API and click on continue. So we can enable the Google Analytics for this project and click on continue. So it's just asking me under which Firebase account I want to create this project. So I'm just going to click on default account and create project. So my new project is ready in Firebase. I'm just going to click on continue. That's all we need to do to create a new project. Now I'll go to the another tab and try to get the API key again. So this time if I click on create API key. So the project that we have created, we should be able to see that project here. So I'm just going to click on Gemini API. That's the project we created in Firebase. And I'm going to click on create API key in existing project. So this is going to create an API key which I can find here. So if I click on that, I should be able to see my API key. And I'm going to copy this API key and use it in my Node.js project. So that's all we need to do to get an access to Gemini API. And you can see that this API is totally like free of charge. So it's not going to charge you anything for a start. It's completely free. So let's go to the documentation again. Let's talk about pricing. So if I go to the pricing tab here. So in the pricing, I can see that there are different Gemini API model. So if I use the Flash model, I can see that it's completely free of charge. But there are some limits on the free account. For example, on the free account, we can make 15 requests per minute. And on the paid account, we should be able to make 1000 requests per minute. So here we can request for 1 million tokens per minute. And in the paid account, we can do 2 million tokens per minute. So free account is also having a daily limit. We can make a 1500 requests per day to this API using a free account. But in the paid account, there is no such daily limit. But these rate limits should be enough to build a simple applications. So we are going to stick to the free account here. So now we have a complete access to the Gemini API. We have the API key. Now let's go to the Visual Studio Code, set up a Node.js project and start integrating this API key into our Node.js application. So guys, here I am in my Visual Studio Code. I have a new folder that is Gemini API. So let's initialize this folder by running a command that is npm init. Hit enter. 
and the package name can be default that is gemini api version can be default we don't need any description here this can be default as well so i'm just going to keep pressing enter and in the end i'm just going to press yes so this project is now initialized with the package dot json here so i'm just going to create an, one more file here that is server dot mjs and i'm just going to install a package here that is node mode we'll be using this package to write a start script in our package.json so here in the scripts i'm just going to add a start script and this is going to be nordmon server.mjs so we have a basic setup ready here i'm just going to console log to test everything is working fine so i'm just going to save this file and here in the terminal i'm just going to start this application by running npm start so everything is working fine in our application now it's time to start integrating gemini api so here in the browser i do have our gemini api documentation i'm just going to leave a link to this documentation in the description of this video so here in the documentation which is for node.js we are going to be generating text by passing a text input to this gemini 1.5 model so this is how exactly we have to do it and we already have a api key and we know how to generate a api key for gemini so what i'll do is i'll just copy this entire chunk of code from here and paste it into my application here so here in this chunk of code we can see that we have to use a google generative ai package so i'm just going to install it by running a command that is npm install google generative ai so now this package has been installed i'm just going to change this command from require to import so i'm just going to change it import google generative ai from google generative ai and here they have a function here and in this function they are passing a prompt to the model and this model is responding with the output here and at the end we are running this run function here so we can see that this chunk of code is using an api key so you can pass your gemini api key here so i'll just go back and here i've already created my api key so i'm just going to click on get an api key and go to the same link again so here i already have my api key so i'm just going to copy this and replace it in my code here i'm just going to pass my api key here and now if i run this application so you can see that this uh, model is responding me with some story about magic backpack i can change the prompt and try this again uh, so this time i'm just going to pass another prompt that is tell me some interesting facts about new zealand so if i do that and uh, run this application again let's wait for the response so we can see that it has uh, provided a very detailed response with all the interesting facts about new zealand so now let's change the prompt here and try something else i'm just going to ask this model tell me about the largest city in new zealand in 160 characters so basically i'm asking it to summarize about the largest city in new zealand in 160 characters so i'm just going to run this command again so this time that's the response we are getting auckland is the new zealand's largest city and has a population of over 1.6 million so that's how we can integrate gemini api into our node.js applications so good thing about gemini api is that as of now it's completely free to use whereas the chat gpt api is a paid api so in the future videos i'll be building some projects using this gemini api so if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one